Hello everyone, welcome to I exam B. Students, my name is Anshul Malik and I am your reasoning mentor. Students, as you all know that IBPS AFO ka exam already in the pipeline. Mein hai. और अब सिर्फ यही एग्जाम बचा है आईबीपीएस की कैटेगरी में जिसका नोटिफिकेशन आना बाकी है पर हम तैयारी पहले से ही स्टार्ट कर देते हैं बिकॉज वी आर 50 परसेंट फास्टर स्टूडेंट्स आज के सेशन में हम कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पजल क्वेश्चंस को डिस्कस करेंगे ताकि आपको लेवल का अंदाजा हो और आप उसी ट्रैक पर तैयारी कर पाए सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ पर्सन सिट इन स्ट्रेट लीनियर रो फेसिंग टू वर्ड्स दी नॉर्थ बट इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट फ्यू ऑफ दैम is given to you you have to read this complete information in order to solve the question so we'll read the information statement by statement and we'll draw the possibilities accordingly now it is given to you that g sits second from an extreme end so basis on these condition two cases are possible accordingly i have drawn the two cases now it is given to you that only three person sits between g and e so you can draw your case accordingly so it is given to that only three person sits between g and e so if you draw in case first you will get this particular arrangement and for the second case you will get this particular arrangement now it is given that six persons sits between r and e so accordingly you can draw your diagram you have to place six person between r and e so here is your r and in second case you have to place six person between your r and e so this is your second case now it is given that b is fifth to the left of r so you have to place b to the fifth of left of r so in case 1 i'll place b over here and in case 2 i'll place my b over here so accordingly i have drawn my two cases now it is given to you that a who is third to the left of e is adjacent to g so you have to fix this condition in both your cases now it is given that a who is third to the left of e so you have to place a over here which is adjacent to g but if you focus on your case number 2 your case number 2 gets eliminated because it does not fulfill your hand according to the statement you have to place a over here which is third to the left of e but it is not adjacent to g so you have to eliminate this particular case now it is given that you have to place two person between f and r and you know that r is not at extreme end so the only possibility is where you can place two person between f and r considering the fact that r is not at the extreme end is this now it is given to you that the number of person to the right of f is same as the number of person between g and a you know that there is no person sitting between g and a so there is no one who is to the right of f so this is your complete arrangement basis on these arrangement you have to answer some questions let us discuss that questions now this is your final arrangement basis on your final arrangement you have to answer these questions so your first question says how many person sit to the left of b so you can count the number of person to the left of b clearly there are seven slots over here so the answer for this particular question is 7 Your second question says how many person sit between A and B so you can count the number of person who is sitting between A and B clearly four persons are sitting between A and B your third question says what is the position of E with respect to B so you have to calculate the position of E with respect to b clearly e is second to the left of b so the correct answer is e is second to the left of b 
सो दिस इज योर करेक्ट आंसर In the next question, it is given to you that eight person from A to H sitting around a circular table facing towards the center, such that C is second to the left of E. Some more directions are also given to you. You have to comprehend these direction and you have to draw your final diagram in order to find your answers. So let us comprehend statement by statement and try to solve this particular question. So it is given to you that C is second to the left of E. So basis on these uh, statement, we can draw our diagram. And accordingly, you will get this. Now it is given to you that neither F nor G is adjacent to C. So Clearly, you can't place G and F over here because they are not adjacent to C. Now, it is given to you that F sits opposite to the one who is on the immediate left of B. So, the only possibilities where we can place F is this or this. We can't place F over here neither over here because it is known that we have to place f in such a way that opposite to the one is on the immediate left of b so only possibilities are this so accordingly we will form two cases so accordingly we will have these two cases now it is given to you that h sits second to the right of b so you can place H in case 1 over here and in case 2 you have to place H over here. Now you have to read your last statement that A is third to the right of the one who sits diagonally opposite to D. So if you focus on your case number 1 the only place for G is this so you can place G over here but if you try to place a, you cannot place A according to this particular statement. So you have to eliminate your case number one. You can try fixing it, but you will not able to fix it. However, if you try fixing in your case number two, you know that A is third to the right of the one who sits diagonally opposite to D. So if D is placed over here, and you know that H is diagonally opposite to D and A is third to the right of one who sits diagonally opposite to D. You can place A over here and G over here. So this is the correct arrangement and basis on this arrangement, you have to find your answers. So basis on your arrangement, you have to find all these answers. Who is on the immediate left of C? Clearly, D is sitting on the immediate left of C. Second question states, who among the following sits diagonally opposite to B? Clearly, G is sitting diagonally opposite to B. So, G is the correct answer. Your third question states, who sits third to the right of H? Now, you know that A is sitting to the third to the right of H. So, A is the correct answer. Let us now discuss the next question. It is given to you that A people O H U V I D B and G are sitting around a circular table facing the center and some more directions is given to you. You have to comprehend this direction and you have to draw your circular arrangement. So we'll try comprehending these direction or statement one by one. So it is given to you that O is sitting second to the left of U and third to the right of H. So accordingly, we can have this particular diagram where O is sitting second to the left of U and your third to the right of H. Now it is given that D and I are immediate neighbors of each other and one of them is an immediate neighbor of O. So you know that the only possibilities to place D and I is either over here because we are not sure who is the immediate neighbor of O. So there might be 
that dni is present over here or over here now it is given that v is sitting second to the right of b so the only possibility for b is over here and you have to place v second to the right of b now in the last statement it is given to you that g is sitting second to the left of d so you have to consider d over here in that case you can only place g sitting second to the left of d so your d sits over here and i sits over here and you can cross i and d from here so this is your final arrangement basis on this arrangement let's answer some questions so this is your final arrangement basis on this arrangement you have to answer some question first question states which of the following person sitting between h and v clearly g is sitting between h and v so the correct answer for this particular question is g what is the position of u with respect to p clearly u is sitting to the immediate right of b so the correct answer is immediate right which of the following person is sitting immediate right of v clearly g is sitting to the immediate right of v so g is the correct answer let us solve the next question so it is given to you that eight person namely a b c p q r s n t are sitting around a circular table facing the center but not necessarily in the same order there are only three males in the group so you have to uh, remember this particular information you have to read these directions also in order to find the correct arrangement so let us comprehend these directions one by one now it is given to you that c sits third to the right of q and you also know that the wife of q sits second to the left of her husband that clearly means that q is a male member because the wife of q sits second to the left of her husband so basis on these two direction we can have the following diagram wherein i have placed q over here which is a male member and you know that c sits third to the right of q and this is the position of wife of q now it is given to you that s is not an immediate neighbor of q so you can't place s over here and s over here because we know that s is not an immediate neighbor of q also T is not an immediate neighbor of Q's wife. So you can't place T over here and T over here. Now it is given to you that R sits second to the right of her husband T, which means R is a female member because her husband is T, which is a male member. and basis on these statement i can place r over here and t over here because you cannot place both of them anywhere so this is the only possibilities left for them now it is given to you that p is a male member and no two males sit together so if p is a male member so he cannot sit between t and q here is your t and here is q because no two male members sit together also p cannot sit to the immediate left of q because no two male members sit together so the only possibility for p is this one so i can place my p over here and i know that p is a male member also the only position left for s is this one which means s is the wife of q now it is given to you that b is not an immediate neighbor of s so i can place b over here also i know that no two males sit together so the gender of b is female and the remaining person left out is a 
and the gender of a is also female because we know that two male person cannot sit together so this is our final arrangement and basis on this let us answer some questions basis on this arrangement let's answer some question so what is the position of p with respect to t clearly p is sitting third to the right of t so the correct answer is third to the right of t who is the wife of q you know that s is the wife of q who among the following sits opposite to the s husband you know that husband of s is q and r is sitting opposite to q so r is the correct answer student i hope you like the today's session and thanks for watching i exam b